Good morning. It is March, early morning, 9 a.m. on um, Edgewater. I'm on my farm here, and uh, we've got a bit of snow today. So um, what I love about this map, and oops, I forgot to put the forklift away and left the garage door open. I'm going to blame the kid for this. So let's get the uh, forklift put away here. And uh, and close the garage. So we've got a bit of snow, as you can see. This is one of the reasons I love this map. Is, and I play um, with. Uh, I try and play as realistic as I can. Yeah, I have a colossal um, harvester. That's just because the time it takes for these fields, these massive fields. But let's uh, let's see how the phoenix, the uh, wolf. This is my favorite truck in the game. Look at this thing. It is amazing. It's dirty right now, but for snow plowing, for everything else from laying lime to fertilizer, the options on this truck, this thing is absolutely amazing. So let's hop in. Now I like to put the lights on. and <laughs> Check this out. So we're going to raise the plow. And that's a little slow. Somebody complained that they would like to see that a little bit better. And uh, I tend to agree. So first up, let's clear away the snow in front of the uh, main shed here. Now this is, a, this is a snow plow salter. And I've only got it set to 800 horsepower. I don't really have the... Uh, did my voice just crack? I'm going through puberty at age 51 here. So anyway, I got the salter attached. Let's get this snow cleared out in front of the uh, doors here. Now I find you can reverse with the blade. You don't have to put the blade up, which I kind of like and appreciate this here. And this, this isn't even a lot of snow. Like, you get a good, on this map, solid three months. January, February, and March, I find, you will get the snow here. And I also like that it will leave behind, like, snow patches. And what I mean by that, and you'll see in a minute is that uh, it gives you a reason to use the salter. So I used to do, uh, I used to drive something similar to this. Uh, I did highway snow plowing, which I absolutely loved. Did not realize how dangerous it was until you see a couple of your uh, fellow uh, snow plow guys get seriously injured. And uh, I had my own scares, but still, Oop, ran over a deer. So when I, as I was just mentioning, I used to plow snow for real on the highway. And we were told, and I'll never forget this, do not stop for a dog or a deer, or you will get fired. And I remember being like, what the f like, really? They're, they're telling us if a dog runs out in front of us, you do not stop. You run that dog over. And uh, I still have an issue with it, but I'm on the fence about it because it does make sense. And I'll explain. I'm just concentrating here a little bit on kind of clearing up the snow. I love this. It's realistic. Now, see this patch behind the truck? This is where the salter comes in. So that's, that right there it has more to do with um, the realism, like that's a patch of ice that you kind of need the salt to get rid of. You can't really get rid of that with the plow. So that, that's why I just, I love this. And I'm going to turn the salter off. So the reason they said drive through is because you're driving such a big truck. And if you break and you end up hurting somebody over that dog or that deer, you're liable. So I, I get it from that perspective. 
All right, so we're gonna. There we go. I hit another deer. <laughs> they are not smart today. And you can push it right across the street, which I love. Which in, in some towns you can get fined for doing it this way. But we aren't going to tell anybody. I have not seen any police on Edgewater, so I'm going to assume there are no police. I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume the Edgewater police have been defunded. So yay! Crime is, crime is free. You are free to commit crimes about the province. Which, by the way, I am Canadian, and um, that's another reason I love this map, is it is realistic to the Canadian uh, weather. So here I'm going to kind of move the... Uh, and I want to show you what we can do with this. You can move this blade around, which is completely awesome. So I'm going to push all that right across the street here. Get that little bit. Clear that little bit up. Clear that little bit up. And we're just going to go back and salt it on the way back. Oh, we got one more little bit here to just kind of clear up. Turn the salter off. Now, how did I get stuck? That was that was kind of different. Kind of got stuck there. So I believe it's March. This is all going to melt. All right. So let's raise that blade up. Let's angle it out. This way. And now we're going to go clear out the uh, the main shed. So we're going to go over here, clean this part out first, and then uh, deal with it. Deal with it! That's the only small minor complaint, is how long it takes to lower that blade. Now, we might not be on a proper angle here, so we're going to kind of want to do this. Get it real close here. Just scooch past. And there we go. And we'll just add it to this pile here. We'll make another pass at this angle. Oops. We don't want to do that. I should have lifted the blade. That was kind of laziness on my part. There we go. There we go. We fixed it. Normally, I wouldn't want to run over that in real life, but hey, it's a game. Sometimes we got to take liberties here. But this is, for me, one of the most fun parts of this game is the snow plowing. And you can make these massive piles. So if you have the snowmobile mod or, you know, a four wheeler, uh, you can have a lot of fun on these mountains, on these mounds here. If you raise cows or anything else, there's other mods that'll melt the snow. So you could plop one of those down on the farm and uh, basically have water. Free water. If you're a thrifty, smart um, feller like myself. So I'm going to leave that strip there. We're going to be a little bit more economical here. And do this. And then we're going to adjust the blades now. And I'm going to show you again how we're going to do this. 
So we want to try and push the snow forward. So we're going to angle the blades that way. Now, this only works if you go short distances. Because once that snow piles up, and you're going to see it in a minute, it starts to flow out the edges here. Which is what we've got happening. So again, I find that very realistic. The way snow responds, it, it, it's real. It, it is as real as you could get. Like, if you could get the snow any more perfect, I wouldn't even notice it. Like, this is what I mean by, um... Like, you see what they can do, like, like this, for example. You can see how good they can get this. And then you see stuff like damage, or, you know, on the vehicles. After, after four hours, you've got to get your vehicle, or five hours. No, the paint. Sorry. The vehicle has to be repainted after four and a half hours which I'm going to show you right now so I only have 4.2 hours on this truck this is one of my biggest beefs and we've had multiple so the paint condition is three quarters down so that's actually not bad so they might have they might have actually done some tweaking on that since uh, last so now we're going to use this blade configuration here and hopefully we're going to get this a little bit cleaned up. I'm going to put on the salt here and salt this bit up a little bit. And we're going to clean up a few more little loose connections here. Turn the lights on. How good does that look? Like, how good does this mod look? Like, this thing is just phenomenal. Like, everything from the way the snow just kind of pushes. Now, I, normally I would I would angle the blade just to clear this part out, but the snow removal just adds a whole new dynamic to the game. Being able to do this, this truck is so much fun. You get to put the um, the the chains on the truck on the tires. You can change the chassis height, which is another great feature. So normally I would just angle it and I'm just going to I'm going to angle the blades just cuz I'm being lazy here and I'll show you again what angling the blades does. Oh, wait a minute. No, we want to go the other way. We got that wrong. No, I guess that's as far up as I can go. So yeah, so we're going to turn the salter on, we're going to salt a little bit. Turn the salter off. Turn it on there, get rid of that little bit of ice.
So you can create snow banks, you can create a massive pile of snow if you want. But I have not seen um, snow done like this on any other map. So it just makes it so much, so much fun. So there's a little bit of, of uh, snow here. Let's see if we can't ice this out with the ice. Yeah, we can. Cool. Now we are going to just go... Kind of push this stuff out a little bit. Raise the blade. Oh, we want to keep it... Do we want to keep it that way? Yes. Uh, no. We want to go the other way. So now we'll go this way. Which, if I was operating a real farm, I probably should have piled the snow uh, on the other side of the road. Which would have made more sense on the other side of the pathway here. Just because you want to keep access to the field open. But I know it's all going to melt and I'm not going to worry about it. But realistically, if I was doing this for a customer or a client, I would have pushed the snow the opposite way. Instead of doing it this way and pushing it to this side into the field. Like I've done here. I would have pushed it onto the uh, other side, if that makes sense. <laughs> and this is the other thing. So see how, this is why the snow is so realistic. See how that, that round that I just went, cause that's old snow. Do you see that? How it didn't completely clear it to the bottom? Now, when I made this pass here, I have to make a second pass. And look, it's still not doing it. Why? Because that was the old snow pile. That is real. Like, that is what would have happened in real life. So we'll try this again. We'll see if we can't get it. See, I had to make three passes and put ice on it. That, to me, that right there is just incredible. So let's lift the blade up. Let's hop on out. Let's go clean up the other uh, driveway here. So we're going to close the blade. Up, and we are going to angle it just a little bit. Up, oh, going the wrong way. There we go. Takes a little bit of getting used to. There is a little bit of a learning curve there, but nothing major. Oh, I guess I should put the blade down. That would help. There we go. We're just going to clear out this little bit for the uh, drive entrance here, and we're done. 
And then what I plan to do, I'm saving up for uh, for the Ford pickup truck. And then I'll buy a snowplow blade for that just to do the uh, driveway of the farm. But uh, my first major piece of equipment is going to be a, a planter. Um, I hate the one that came to the farm. I sold it right away. I'm not going to use it. What I want, I want one that you don't need to cultivate with, especially on these big fields. I would rather do it that way. Save some money, save some time, get it all done with, in one shot, and then roll it. So that's, that's part of my business plan here when dealing with this. So there you go. Um, Edgewater, the winter wolf, snow plowing. What a great looking farm. What a great looking winter farm. One of the biggest disappointments in Farm Sim 22 has been snow. And this, this modder fixed it. Like, this is how snow should be on everything. Oh, I forgot this little bit here. This is how it should be. Incredible looking mod. On an incredible looking map. It really shows you what can be done. Actually, we're gonna... We're not gonna side this one here. We're going to... I'm going to try and do this here. Now, I know I can get this out of here. I don't know if I got the blade all the way down. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't have the blade all the way down. I, I thought something was up. It's still giving me a hard time, eh? Salt it up a little bit. Spicy it up a bit. See if we can't get that snow out from under there. No, it doesn't look like it. And again, do I have the blade all the way down? I do. <clears throat> but that's packed in snow. And that's why I'm having an issue. Because I didn't properly clean it out in the other months. So let's see if we can't get the ice on there. I'm not going to need it anyway, so it's not going to be uh, that big of a deal. Oh, we can change the uh, width. Turn on salt spreader. Change working width. Ah, there we go. That helps. Yeah, that's what we need right there. We need that wide spread. Let's see if we can't drive this little bit of snow left straight. And that worked out perfect. And there we go. Done. We are done. We are finished snow plowing on Edgewater. Let me know what you guys think. This is, uh, this is what makes the game so much fun. Is uh, little things like this. Look at how big these snow piles are. One day I'm going to just... Look, you can climb up. I'm like a little kid, too. Look. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> you know, come on. Tell me how much fun that is. Just how many memories that brings back. 
and why this game is so great. Anyway, thanks for watching.